So Jared, what do you do here? Uh, so I'm the sales and operations manager for the suppressor division. You're actually not going to need your hearing protection today because these actually drop the report of the gunshot down below hearing safe. On a center fire rifle like in 300 blackout, unsuppressed, you're right around 168 decibels. Uh, 140 decibels is what OSHA considers hearing safe, so okay. it's substantially louder than that. Okay. And then suppressed, we're going to get down right around 120 decibels, so okay. it's well below that hearing safe level. But what you're saying is a, quote, silencer doesn't make it silent. Correct, yeah, it still exactly. sounds like a gunshot. When they were originally developed back in 1920, there was called a silencer. Yeah. Now we've started using the term suppressor because it makes a little bit more sense. Mm -hmm. It's not making, like you said, that gunshot completely silent. That big misnomer on that is movies. It doesn't sound like a gunshot anymore. It's completely untrue. And you'll hear that today when we're shooting these. Let's go ahead and line up the top of that rear sight with the top of the front of the suppressor. Basically, the whole point is to protect your hearing. When you get that loud shockwave, anything that's over 140 decibels, it's permanent irreversible hearing damage. And that's just one gunshot, never mind a lifetime of training with firearms. So right. if you put a suppressor on the end of it, it's going to take that chance of hearing damage way down. Excellent.